Bonjour Year 9, welcome to this week's French lesson. Um, sorry you're not able to see my lovely face, um, but I can't get my webcam to work with the recording my screen. Um, but this is Mrs Cunningham again, so if you have anything to send me or any questions, keep them coming to rcunningham at johnfirmly.org and thanks so much to those of you who sent me in some work to look over this week. So. We're going to start with a question to do with what we were looking at last week. So, I've given you a scenario. You are in town in France, going to the cinema with a friend. You want to know when the film starts. So, you need to use the word quand, which means when. Le film is the film. And the verb to start is commencer. So, using those words I've just given you, how could you ask that question? So, I want you to... Write down the three ways that you could ask somebody in French, when does the film start? Answers coming up now, so if you haven't got it, pause the screen. So changing your tone and question word at the end. Le film commence quand? The film starts when? Question word at the end. Question word plus verb plus subject. Quand commence le film? Question word, quand? verb, commence, the film is a subject. When starts the film. And finally, question word plus est-ce que, quand est-ce que commence le film? You could say, quand est-ce que le film commence? I don't mind whether the verb or the subject is either way there. Okay, so those are the three ways to ask the question. As I said last week, um, if you're more comfortable using one of these than the others, that's brilliant. But for the speaking exam, you'll have to recognise all three versions. So, it's our Key Stage Suite GCSE Transition Lesson 5, um, but only the third one that's online. So, so far we've covered nouns, numbers, questions, and now today we're looking at opinions. And then for the next two weeks after this, we're going to look at something different. So, opinions in French. You already know quite a few. What I've got here is a text in French, and what I'd like you to do is scan the text and find all the expressions which give opinions. Now, there'll be some words here that you don't know, and that's fine because it's a GCSE text, and I'm not expecting you to understand everything in year nine. So my tip is, don't be put off by words you don't know. In total, there are 12 expressions to give opinions in here, and four of them we've been using since year seven. So four of them, I'm sure you definitely recognise, the ones that are, you know, saying whether you like or dislike something, hint. And giving opinions, we've been practicing this from year seven because it's a brilliant way to pick up marks in the speaking and the writing exams. So pause the screen here, try and write down the 12 French expressions you find in the text. Um, here they all are in red. And most of these appear on your fact book to learn for this week. So, je trouve ma famille vraiment super. I find. Je trouve is I find. If you want to be making notes separate to your fact book, do so. But as I say, most of them are written in French and English in your fact book. J'adore mes parents. I love my parents. Hopefully that's one you saw right away, because we've been using that one since year seven. Et je pense que mon frère est intéressant. I think that my brother is interesting. What do we think that phrase might mean there? It means in particular. Okay, so there's lots you can pick out that you understand even though you've never seen the word before. J'aime être avec ma mère. I like to be with my mom. À mon avis means in my opinion. Elle est patient et gentille. Look at the female endings to these adjectives. She is patient and nice. Je crois que. I believe that. Je crois que. L'activité que je préfère faire. The activity that I prefer to do, faire, important verb, avec ma famille, with my family, c'est aller au restaurant. It's going to a restaurant. Ça me plaît. I really like that expression. Ça me plaît. Literally, it pleases me. It makes me happy. Beaucoup, car je m'intéresse la cuisine. So... That pleases me, that makes me really happy, because I'm interested in cooking. Cuisine. Personnellement. Oh, what a lovely word. Personally, j'aimerais. 
Now you would recognise Je voudrais from the last couple of years, I would like. Here's another way of saying I would like. It looks like j'aime, I like, but this ending here makes it I would like. Passer plus de temps avec mon père. I would like to spend more time with my dad. Il travaille beaucoup. Do you remember that verb from this year? Do not mix it up with travels. False friend alert. Travail, the verb travailler, means to work. So il travaille beaucoup, he works a lot, et je déteste ça. I hate that. So most of that text, actually, you might have known already. Well done. What I'd like you to do is to note down the most important ways of saying that you like and dislike something. Remember ça me plaît? It makes me happy or it pleases me. Ça ne me plaît pas? Hmm, what might that mean? Je m'intéresse à. That à is really important because we don't use it in English. Look, je m'intéresse à la cuisine. I'm interested in. Just be careful, the topic I'm looking at at the minute with all this vocabulary is to do with friends and family because it's the first one you'll study properly at GCSE. Now if you say j'aime a thing, like j'aime le chocolat, I like chocolate, that's fine. If you're talking about a person, it means you love them, you're in love with them. So j'aime Caroline means I love Caroline. If you just want to say I like Caroline, like she's a friend, then you would say j'aime bien Caroline or Caroline if she's French. Okay, so j'aime an object is fine. If you say j'aime and then a person, that means you love them. So make a note of these in French and English, please. Um, here they are. Look, summer play. Literally, it pleases me. It makes me pleased. It makes me happy. It's so just another expression that you can use for j'aime. A nicer way of saying j'aime. Summer play. It makes me happy. It pleases me. I like it. So these are the expressions that I would like you to be practicing this week. So these expressions can be used with positive and negative things. You see, you could say, personally, I don't get along with my brother because in my opinion, he is annoying. That's all negative. But you could say, um, personally, I prefer to spend time with my mum because in my opinion, she is more fun than my dad. Uh, okay, so those are what, that's what I want you to be practicing this week. So, we're gonna do some listening practice now and I want you to write down A, B, C, D, twice. One's going to be about TV and one's going to be about le jardinage, gardening. And I would like you to tell me whether their opinion is positive or negative. Now this first exercise is taken from a foundation example and the second one is from a higher. So let's give both a go and then um, see how you do. That didn't work. Wait. Hey. J'aime beaucoup regarder la télé. C'est super. Hey. J'aime beaucoup regarder la télé. C'est super. B. Je déteste regarder la télé. C'est nul. Je déteste regarder la télé. C'est nul. Si. Je n'aime pas regarder la télé. C'est très ennuyeux. Si. Je n'aime pas regarder la télé. C'est très ennuyeux. D. La télé J'adore ça. C'est mon passe-temps préféré. D. 
la télé J'adore ça C'est mon passe-temps préféré uh, Sorry, I was talking over the beeps then. Um, I hope you found that one okay. All I wanted was a positive or negative opinion. I forgot to mention the challenge apologies, which was to write down the reason for their opinion, but I'm not marking that. That's just for extra listening practice. So, let's listen to a trickier one. It's a little bit more difficult um, because they, they don't specifically say, I really like gardening because. So, let's listen. A. Hey. Je passe des heures et des heures dans mon jardin. Ça me plaît et j'ai une passion pour les fleurs. A. Hey. Je passe des heures et des heures dans mon jardin. Ça me plaît et j'ai une passion pour les fleurs. B. J'aide mon père toutes les semaines dans le jardin. Ça me fait grand plaisir. B. J'aide mon père toutes les semaines dans le jardin. Ça me fait grand plaisir. C. Le jardinage, c'est très fatigant. Ça me fait mal au dos. Si. Le jardinage, c'est très fatigant. Ça me fait mal au dos. D. Je m'intéresse beaucoup au jardinage. Cette année, Je vais cultiver des légumes et je trouve ça extra. D. Je m'intéresse beaucoup au jardinage. Cette année, je vais cultiver des légumes et je trouve ça extra. So those were real passages from GCSE past papers. So I wonder how you did. What I'm going to show you is the transcripts here, so you can correct your own work before I show you the answers. So have a read through and see whether you've got the answers right. Do you, are they positive or negative? Okay, so there are your answers. And a couple of things to notice, especially in the higher example. Je passe des heures et des heures was the first thing. I spend hours and hours in my garden. You were listening out for summer play. It pleases me, makes me happy. J'ai une passion pour les fleurs. I'm passionate about flowers. J'ai mon père tous les semaines dans le jardin. Ça me fait grand plaisir. That makes me really happy. This plaisir is from the same verb. Le jardinage c'est très fatigant. It's very tiring. Ça me fait mal au dos. You won't have known that expression before. It gives me a bad back. You might remember dough from the um, topic we did on health. And I'm really interested in gardening. This year I'm going to cultivate or grow some vegetables and I find that cool, extra. Okay, don't worry if you didn't understand a lot of these words. Hopefully you picked out a couple of things and maybe you got some of these right. So, we're going to finish with some translations. And you can choose your level of difficulty. You don't need to do all ten. So it starts easier and then becomes more challenging, especially because most of these words you already know, about half to two thirds of these words you already know, and quite a few of these words for nine and ten you might need to look up. Um, but give them a go, and I'm about to show you the answers, so pause the screen. There they are, so you can mark your own at home. This was a kind of whistle-stop tour through how to give your opinion in French. I'd like you to learn some of those expressions in your fact books this week. And if you have anything to send to me, please do. It's rcunningham at johnfernley.org. You can take a photo of your work and send it through. I know some of you have already done that. Okay, I'll see you next week. Au revoir.